everyone, it's Maddie. Long time no see. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing a little try on haul. So let's start off. I have a lot of cute numbers here. And I could do like a little styling video too. That'd be kind of fun. These is, this is just me like showing y'all the clothes, but maybe I could do like a little style moment. So first is this zebra print dress from Shein. I think it's super cute. It has like the classic little lacy moment that's really popular right now, really trendy. Um, I love zebra and I just think this is adorable. And next up, this is like a halter top, but it ties in the middle. You'll see it when it's on. But it's a really cool, it's not like zebra, it's like, um, I don't know what this pattern is, but it's quite cute. And I like it a lot. Here we have this little, um, I was gonna say little girls, but like it's not little girls, it just says girls. This shirt that says girls on it, and it's a long sleeve. This is from Brandy Melville. Um, I have been wanting more long sleeve tops because in LA, it's like that in between where it's like you don't want something heavy, but you don't want a t shirt. So I've kind of been wanting this and I thought this was really cute. But next up, I'm really excited about this. I believe that Gap is coming back. You've probably been seeing it all over Pinterest. Shirt that says Gap, uh, Times Square on the bottom. This is like so, Gap is so nostalgic to me because I wore a lot of Gap when I was younger. But this I think would be like super cute for like a 90s moment. Uh, tuck it into some high-waisted mom jeans. Maybe like with like a little banana clip or something. And continuing on with Gap, here's like a denim, but it's not like actually denim, it just like is uh, faux denim. A sweatshirt from Gap, this is oversized, I think it's adorable. It goes with the pants I'm wearing right now. They're like these. <laughs> this was on sale. I got it for like, I think like $7. Here we have a fun little graphic tee. Um, it's like a vintage, um, style, like the, like an 80s kind of, uh, Paget Brewster t-shirt. I don't think I have uploaded a video on the channel since, but, uh, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you definitely know. I'm obsessed with Criminal Minds, the show. I know, I'm late. I'm so late to watching it. I just started obsessing over it a few months ago. I know I'm late. But better late than never, uh, Emily Prentice, played by Paget Brewster, is my favorite character, and I literally love Paget and Emily, so. So here we have another thing from Gap. I'm really excited about this because it kind of gives me the same energy as Tate Langdon's um, sweater from American Horror Story Murder House. It's not obviously the exact same, but it gives me the same um, energy. I love this, it's a little oversized. It would look cute with the pants I'm wearing now or jeans, literally anything. You can dress it up, dress it down, you can wear it with a skirt. It's, I'm really excited to wear this, to say the least. And I really want to get this too because I'm literally regressing back to my eighth grade self. And in eighth grade, I was obsessed with American Horror Story or seventh grade really, started in seventh grade. Next I have another vintage style tee that my mommy got me. It's a uh, TLC band tee. I think it's super cute. It's in the same style as the Paget one. Here we have a cute basic Boston tee. Again, I think this would be really cute with um, high-waisted mom jeans and tucked in just because it's like kind of longer. So I don't feel like it would look the cutest with low-waisted jeans, but kind of a look, kind of a serve with uh, high-waisted shorts or jeans. Here we have another Shein moment. The quality on this one is not that great. It's like a faux leather, but it's really cute. It's a corset top. It has like little snaps in the front. So next is another dress from Shein. It's kind of hard to see on the rack, but it's this like gorgeous, it's this gorgeous floral. Um, I think this would look so cute with tights, and docks or like tights and a pair of heels that I will be showing you later. This one from Forever 21. Uh, it's sparkly. I saw it in Forever 21 one day and I was like, mm, I'm not gonna get it, I'm not gonna get it. And then I was thinking about it. And so then I went back to Forever 21 and I was like, okay, I'm getting this. Uh, it's like a little like a New Year's moment. Even though we can't have New Year's parties this year, I might just wear it like alone in my room. 
Now I have this oversized um, sweatshirt from Brandy Melville. I have this in blue. I don't know if I've worn it on the channel, but I've definitely worn it. Oh, actually, I just like redid my Instagram, so I don't know if any pictures are still up of me wearing it, but I have like an outfits tab on Instagram. It's definitely on the outfits tab, but yeah. So this sweater is also new. It's from Brandy. It's a really cute Argyle. And these pants I'm wearing are new too. I'll insert like a video of me where you can see it better. And here is a leather oversized jacket from Nasty Gal. I um, am so excited to be owning this because my Pinterest board is, you probably, if you're on Pinterest, you've seen. Th this jacket is everywhere. Not the specific one, but like an oversized leather jacket. It's all the rage right now. I'm finally following the trend. So as for shoes, I got these adorable heels from Shein. Um, chunky heel platform. They're adorable. I'm obsessed. I've been practicing my model walk in them. Uh, these boots are all over my Tumblr. Tumblr? I meant Pinterest. I, t I told you guys, I'm reverting back to middle school. I think these are super classy and I'm obsessed with the square toe right now. And they also remind me of Emily Prentice's boots she wears in like every episode of Criminal Minds. Following that similar vibe, these are from Just Fab. And they are like the same type of idea, square toe, that style, but they are like a brown uh, snake skin. I'm obsessed with brown right now. The only downside to these is that the zipper's gold. And it's not a big deal because no one's really looking at the zipper on your shoes and it's on the inside. But like, I just never wear gold. So I hate like, I hate when shoes and like accessory or like in purses and stuff have like a gold chain. I'm like, ah, I don't wear gold, but it's fine. I also got these heels. I'm literally obsessed. They're like, um, what is this called? Turtle? Crocodile? I don't know, but they're white from Nasty Gal. Another thing that I got that's new that I think is so cute are these Gap overalls. I'm upset. Look at the little thing on the butt. They gave me like a little Rachel Green energy, which I'm obsessed with. I also got these shoes, which are so cute. They're like Juicy Couture Ugg-esque boots, kind of. They're obviously not Ugg, they're Juicy Couture, but looks like an Ugg. And it says Juicy on it, and the back has these sparkles. And they're furry on the inside, and it just gives me... This is like an early 2000s moment. Speaking of Ugg, I also got the Ugg slippers with like the strap on the back because I've been wanting a good pair of slippers to wear around the house, especially in LA because for some re I'm out of breath for no reason. For some reason, my floor in LA is dirty 24 seven. I'm literally on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor and it's dirty. Still, I'll walk and my the bottoms of my feet are black. I don't get it. I literally sweep and scrub every other day, but whatever. So I'm sick of ruining my socks and like making my feet dirty. So I wanted to get like a good pair of slippers that I know would last. I think that wraps up my haul. Thanks for watching this video. Um, should, do I need to put the disclaimer in here that like every YouTuber does where they're like, I'm not bragging. Cause like, I'm not trying to brag. Like. I just love haul videos. Hold on, babe. Was that good? Was that good?